later, the cadets traveled to University Park, Pennsylvania for the first Big Eastern clash of the season with Penn State. State struck first. Al Jacks passed to Les Walters for 15 yards. A few plays later, Jacks ran wide, then cut back for seven yards to Army's five. The state drive rolled on over the goal with Dave Kasparian swinging around right end for the touchdown. Army was blessed with two great halfbacks. Equally as valuable as Anderson was Pete Dawkins, wheeling 10 yards. On a quick hitter, Anderson burst through for four, then found daylight in the state line and ripped over to tie the score. Again, the Nittany Lions roared with Jacks passing to Emil Caprara for 18 yards. Days later, Jacks hurled into the end zone to Walters, and State led at the half, 13 to 6. It was a different Army team, though, in the second half. The cadets punched down to the State 10 and spiraled around end to tie the score again. Army was on the march now. On a pass attempt, Borland found no receiver open. Cut back through the state line yards. Watch him reverse his field. The Black Knights kept the pressure on till Gil Ressler carried to the state six. The Lions braced to stop two charges, then Dawkins crashed over, and Army's rally defeated Penn State 27 to 13.